I want to showcase this device because really it's got a lot going on and I've still got one more thing to add to it I didn't expect it to be um, coming with a Chinese fucking plug I don't know why they would do that other than they gave me the Chinese people's variety now this is supposedly a beauty product but it's actually a Therify, which is a, um, you have to check Dan Winter stuff out. This is working good. If I were to, this is a different way to do this same thing, because I got a lot of organ in here. So, and it's just sitting in this metal plate. This thing, here, is a, a roller from one of the old ones. One of the old one has these tubes that have the purple plasma. You know, they have an alternate one. Sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't. Um, there's only two makers of this thing, and it's this one and the other one. The one that has the Chinese lady on the front doing her face like, Ooh. Doing what? Ooh. As an hourglass. But... When you, if you watch the plasma, you turn the knob and you'll get it within the right, it's, you'll tune it and you'll see it light up all the way up. So obviously that's all the way high and there's different attachments. So, you know, I'm just using this one because I've got it and I've actually got two of them. I would say I'm not even aiming right. I'm trying to do two things at the same time. Uh, you're doing more than that. This is you from the future. When you breathe in and you you smell that or taste in in your breath that uh, Low power. ozone, you yeah. associate it with this device after you use it. So, like, I'm really fucking snarging on the blars. Probably better just to put it on this thing. Anyway, I'm just playing with it. See, because I have all these pyramids underneath here all going around I have the one on top and that this is a giant orgone thing that I made and luckily it's not shocking me because I don't have any connection to that that's orgone it has that glass tube would glow purple if it were to ignite it which it, for some reason it doesn't because you have to get on both sides of it it is the way it is you do a lot of real cool stuff with it. Like this. So this. This is from my grandma's house. And I don't know how I got here. I have no idea. It teleported. Here's another story of teleportation. So... I had a friend come over. She got out there. She let her dogs out. Now, at the time, we had chickens. We were letting these chickens that we had run wild in the yard, which really wasn't a good idea because they was getting picked off like fucking. But one of the one of the chickens immediately was gone, disappeared, and I was mad as hell. Now here's the, here's the thing about three days later underneath here was a um, a tarp like this it was underneath there and it was flat. I was sitting on the porch. I swear to God, I watched this fucking tarp pop up. I could hear like the chicken making chicken sounds. It wasn't a rooster, so it wasn't doing rooster, but it stumbled out. Two eggs rolled out with it, too. So it was a hen, obviously. The two eggs rolled out with it. It stumbled out, and it went over there, and it sprayed shit. Like, it had diarrhea. And I can't explain it. I mean, did the chicken hide for three days underneath there? I don't think so. I watched them run through the fence, you know? I had to get my friend to get her dog and, and cuss her ass out. I don't like people that come over here and just let their dogs run around. 
that's I don't like that at all I don't like that at all in fact that's real bad that's the fastest way to piss me off the most because it just shows a real lack of give a shit for the person that you're doing that to you don't, you don't care about their area you're not thinking about if they have animals and you're causing problems it's a real dick move it really is and I don't approve I mean, if you have a dog that's great but if you're going to bring it over and you're going to unleash it in my area or bring it into my house a dog that runs into my room that someone else's dog you don't have much time big dude protest all you want hey buddy ruby red you're my homie i just i love your neck the way it looks you look amazing you you're an asshole your butt stinks you too i got him a conjure i got him a a, a roommate there wouldn't be no lady hen in there with him if it weren't for me. Now they're like a married couple. Let's, let's visit them and see. I don't think he understands the care. But I, I psychically tuned into his higher self and asked him. I said... You'd like a hen in here with you, dude? And he's like, hell yeah. Would you like a conjugal visit? Look, she's a young girl too. Right. <laughs> I don't think it's the mom. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa, whoa, whoa I don't whoa. have no problems. I'm just, look. I'm whoa, 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 whoa. He's like, well, fucking move around, dude. All right, fucking nutsack face. Face look like a beat up pussy. Some fucking stop. Outlet, just stop. I can. Although Kelly was trying not to use such profanity, he really wasn't doing a good job. Yeah, that was phenomenal. How the, that happened, I can't understand. I can't explain it. That motherfucker teleported. There was a couple of other. other I was. I was out there telling a story, and then I went to say hi to the chicken, and the and the hen. And I'm ready. Whenever you are ready, I guess. Nego bath. Nego bath. Yeah. Go ahead. I think I'm mostly ready. Except I will put on a coat jacket. Alright. I'm running my bubble. Wasn't going to be no coat jacket for me. Breathe in the Not positive today. energy. Because I got this I'm device going. running right here. So. Be advised. Out. Got my bubble generator going. So draw in all the positrons. A whopper electro electrolytes. You two listeners. Okay. Let's see. Mark, Vaughn, Denise, Feather, 